Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with the one inch brush, some yellow and white. And we'll come right up here to the sky. Maybe we'll drop in a nice little sunset today. Very, very pretty soft colors. Maybe we'll just let that yellow kind of work around to about there. Now with a nice light blue gray color on the one inch brush, we can drop in the rest of our sky here. Just kind of fill it all up. Maybe a touch more of the blue up, oh yeah, up in the corners like that. There we go. And maybe a little bit more, throw some red in there. Kind of change it up as you go along. That's very fun. Now with the filbert brush, we'll go through some yellow, red. And maybe we want some clouds in through here. So I'm just gonna begin by kind of scrubbing some of this color in. We can turn them into clouds and blend them. Make them nice and soft later. Just for now, kind of get, get that color in there. And then let it fade off. Less and less pressure. And the clouds will get a little bit lighter and softer. Now with the filbert brush and some blue and red. We can go ahead and add in some clouds up here. Now these clouds are they're getting kind of far away from the sun. So there's less and less light. They're kind of this nice purple color. Maybe they even come right off the canvas like that. Now with the filbert brush and some yellow and white, we can come right under here and begin laying on just a few little highlights, not too many. I don't want to, don't want to distract. The sky is almost almost where I want it. It's almost complete. Just need a few little highlights here. They kind of add some nice extra detail to the painting. So you just rub them in. You can even just blend them with the filbert brush. Kind of set the highlight on and then blend up the top. Very soft. With the filbert brush, we can scrub in a little mountain back here. We don't need much detail. And we definitely don't want to get it too dark. Keep it nice and pale because it's pretty far away. Next, we can block in another larger mountain up here. You see, I do start by kind of sketching out the top and then I like to fill it in. This way, I get a nice shape that I'm already happy with. I don't even have to worry about it. And then we throw in the color. Again, not too dark. You don't want it so dark that it comes too close. The pale things kind of go back into the distance. And the dark colors come to the foreground. Now with the knife, we can begin to drop on a lot of nice little highlights to this mountain here. Maybe these, this is really, it goes straight up. It's kind of a cliff. Kind of scratching a little, little line for you. There, kind of a nice little, little thing that sticks out. I like doing that a lot, scratching in those lines because they kind of help, help to let me know where I'm going. It keeps me on track. And if ever you kind of get a line in there and you don't, you don't like where it is, you can easily brush it out and try it again because you're not really adding any paint. And then as soon as you're happy, then you go back with your paint and just fill it in. Next with the fan brush, we'll go through some red, a touch of brown, and maybe right in here, we want to have maybe some dirt that kind of kind of slopes up toward the toward the little cliff. So just rub it right in. We don't need too much right here. Maybe we'll have another little mountain somewhere over here and kind of cut this one off. Go right up to the edge. You can kind of clean up anything that looks rough here at the bottom with this. Now with the filbert brush, we can rub in a few little highlights here. We don't need too many. Just kind of touch down and hit and slide like that. 
that gives you a nice little little bit of a highlight on the dirt here. And you can change the colors, throw some yellow in for some sunlight. This is mostly just red with a little touch of brown and white. And follow this kind of the angle we have going on our land here. You know, don't make them slope down like that. Pretty flat with just a, a gentle curve to the land. With some black and brown on the filbert brush, we can scrub in a nice dark base to this last mountain we're gonna paint. You can see I already did a little quick sketch. It just helps me know where I'm going. There, just block it in. Very dark, because this one's close. We really want it to be nice and dark. It'll bring it forward. It creates a lot of depth in our painting. Now with some red, brown, and maybe just a touch of yellow, we can rub on some nice highlights here. And maybe, maybe we want our, our little cliff to stop somewhere right about there. And this area will be in shadow. Set the paint down and then work with it. You don't have to just leave it alone. You can rub it and blend it with the knife and create a lot of nice looking effects. Maybe we want some shadows. So right in here, darken the color. See that? You can have some details in the shadow areas. After all, this mountain is pretty close. There. And maybe back here. You can turn your hand upside down or whatever you want to, to get these little highlights in. Use the small edge of the knife. Sometimes it works better. Try both and see which one works best for you. Now with the fan brush and some black, brown, we can go ahead and begin painting in some of the foreground, or at least a little bit closer, some of the dirt. And maybe we wanna just scrub it in like that. I think in my painting today, I think there's a little bit of sun kind of filtering through, maybe, maybe there's a little split in those mountains. So we'll do something like that. To make that little split, you can take a lighter color and just rub some of that in there. Now with the filbert brush, we can dab in just a few little bushes here. This is just dark color. We can barely see them against all that land we just put in. But out here, in where the, the light is catching, we would certainly see a little bit of highlight. So you can just add that right on. Yellow and whatever green and black we had on that brush. With the one inch brush, we'll go through some black, green, touch of brown, and tap the brush. And right down in here, we need some foreground, some stuff that's very close. And this will help to push everything nice and far away. We don't want anything too close here. Now, with the filbert brush, we'll go through some black and a touch of green. And maybe right up here, we need one big cactus. This sort of, it's kind of like our big tree we like to do. Maybe it has a couple of little, little arms that hook up like this, I don't know. Don't get any patterns in here. That wouldn't look as good. And just like a tree, make it nice and dark. Now with the knife and a little bit of yellow and green, we can come right over here and just begin to tap on some nice highlights. This is done a little bit like a tree, really quite a lot like a tree. I'm just tapping on some highlight Maybe wipe the knife off and then let it run back and get softer. See, it goes into shadow as it goes around the curve there. With the one inch brush and some yellow, green, 
and a little bit of white. <laughs> we can just add in a few little detailed grassy patches here in the foreground. This helps to make everything look complete and give us a nice little detailed look. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.